A new target for moving forward with the Federal Aviation Administration Reauthorization Act of 2023, now in early March, after a stopgap measure passed in mid-December. But this new bill, one of only a few five-year FAA reauthorizations ever, would reauthorize the FAA through fiscal year 2028. That would allow activities, programs, and funding related to airport planning and development, facilities and equipment, and operations to continue. Passage of the legislation as it stands now would also mean new funding programs, safety requirements, and other elements not seen in previous reauthorizations. So this is some of what's included. Expanding air traffic controller training capacity, prohibiting aircraft dispatchers from working remotely with only limited exceptions for emergencies, and requiring airlines to provide refunds upon request to passengers who hold non-refundable tickets for canceled or significantly delayed flights. The FAA would have to update safety standards for commercial air tour operators, such as sightseeing airplane and her helicopter flights. And the bill would establish a new grant program for airports for the disposal of products that contain per or polyfluoroalkyl substances, also known as PFAS. And the Reauthorization Act would also require the FAA to establish a regulatory pathway for the certification or approval of commercial unmanned aircraft, such as drones, to operate beyond the visual line of sight. The state and a couple of Alaska's congressional members speaking about the need to pass the legislation this next go-round. Our airports won't close, but what will happen is we won't be able to deliver our capital improvement program, and we're not alone. The rest of the states will not be able to utilize or access airport improvement money. The FAA and the NTSB um, have come out with a report saying we have the highest accident rates and death rates of any state in the country in terms of aviation. So they have at my urging, initiated a program that is focused exclusively on Alaska aviation safety and what we need to do more in terms of bringing in infrastructure and making sure we have the assets that the lower 48 uh, states have. Sets up really important safety targets and provides flexibility for our rural Alaskan airports, our Bush airports. And this Authority has been temporarily extended until March 8th, but we need to complete this process.